Hi, <coughs> I'm Leah <coughs> and I'm already losing my, my voice so let's go ahead. Hi, I'm Leah and I'm very excited to be here today and I can't wait to tell you more about fascinating world of IT from a little bit different perspective, from the perspective of a hardware engineer. Um, as you can see, my title, official title is a hardware engineer while my role is a process development engineer. And let's go ahead and I will tell you a little bit more of what does that actually mean. I think most of us here today find themselves fascinated about the world of technologies and, well, how can we not be? All the drive and constant progress and technologies and futuristic ideas. IT world is truly a wonderland for true technology lovers, enchanting everyone who gets close by. Sometimes this enchantment comes hand in hand with the desire of building a successful career in IT sphere. Well, what comes to me? My past has been a bit different. I always found myself fascinated about IT, but I could never imagine how all of my passions could fit into somewhat stereotypical picture of a person working for an IT company. I was one of those people who always linked coding and IT as something, you know, completely inseparable. And I know that many other people are making the same assumption. My passion has always been in creating something completely new, unknown, having hands-on experience with the world and constantly trying to improve everything around me. All of these pieces have been fitting perfectly to one puzzle named research and development engineer. And all of the big IT companies, as exciting as they felt for me, you know, they have been more of an unachievable dream. And then I had to make a decision and I have decided to follow my heart. And where my heart led me is, well, it threw me full steam ahead and to the world of engineering, sciences, physics, chemistry, research, uncountable hours in the laboratory working on all kinds of processes and everything related to the materials processing as at that point I have been mainly focusing on plastics. In addition to the hours in the lab, I have spent hours on the landfill. Yep, that's correct. For a few years, I have been working on different research projects in the field of plastics recycling, which indeed include spending hours on the landfill collecting the data. And at that point, I was as far from IT world as I possibly could be. I have even tried my hand at designing practical exercises for university courses or working in a research project on developing engineering education. Well. Little did I know, all of the work I've done and all the experiences I got will lead me where I am today, enjoying my time as a hardware engineer at Microsoft. Well, I think that quite many people are familiar with the term Microsoft and know about the company, but mixed reality might sound somewhat new. Well, why don't I tell you a little bit about who we are? And I think it's best to start actually from a definition. Mixed reality is a blend of physical and digital worlds. And <clears throat> I would say this is a new reality which is based on advancement in computer vision and graphical processing and display technologies, input system, cloud computing. And we are, the mixed reality team, is a growing team of talented engineers, researchers, program managers. I could even say we are artists putting technology on a human path across all Windows devices, including Microsoft HoloLens, the Internet of Things, phones, tablets, desktops, Xbox. We are the <coughs> We as a people driving our technology above. Oh, sorry, I think I have to have some water. <coughs> we as a people who are driving our technology above and beyond, creating a new world with a desire to bring us closer together. And now, the main mystery of this long monologue. Who am I and what do I do? Well, 
my role at Mixed Reality is a process development engineer. And well, <laughs> what does process development engineer do? I think we can start from what is a process. And if we go by definition, process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular results. And we are using processes every single day, brushing teeth, making coffee, making a sandwich. All of those are the processes we do without even thinking about the steps we take. And yet every single one of those steps has a particular meaning. And now we can go actually by the example everyone can relate to, making a sandwich. Sounds easy, right? What can go wrong? Well, I think some of you might be familiar with the challenge we tried to recreate in the next video. Uh, I have asked a colleague of mine to write me a very basic step-by-step -step recipe of um, cheese and jam sandwich. And well, then I just tried to follow the recipe and let's see how it went. As you can see, really easy recipe, only five steps. Where step one is to take two slices of bread. Step two. Well, I hope you are seeing the video because I don't. Okay, step one, take two slices of bread. So far, so good. Step two, we need to spread the butter on both slices. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. And it might not be the most efficient way, but I guess that works. And now, step three. Take jam and put it on top of the butter. Jam is on top of the butter. Step four, take a slice of cheese and place it in between two slices of bread. And step five, enjoy. Yeah, well, I have to say in this case, process engineer would be the correct person to help you figure out that perhaps if you take the packaging of the cheese that might make the taste a bit better. Uh, some things we can do intuitively without even thinking about it. But when we start talking about the complex processes, that's not always the case. As a process development engineer, I constantly need to search for different or improved solutions for the processes I'm working to make them faster, better, more efficient, you name it. And I need to troubleshoot and learn something new every single day. And besides the hard technical skills type of knowledge, all of those tasks would require lots of creativity. Just imagine, sometimes you can up, come up with a perfect solution for your problem, which would solve all of the issues, but that just doesn't exist. What do you do then? Well, easy, you create it. Sometimes you have to step outside of all possible borders and try to come up with something completely crazy and unconventional. And I have to say, seeing those crazy ideas being realized and becoming a final solution is the most rewarding feeling. And the best thing about process engine development is that opportunities, they're limitless. The magic phrase, it's R&D work, and well, only your imagination is going to stop you. Another task a process engineer me very much included, has to exercise daily, is bravery. We must be brave to test something what might fail, brave to experiment, brave to try unknown, and brave to learn from our mistakes, and more importantly, share those mistakes with others. Process engineering can be very demanding, but at the same time, it's very rewarding. And sometimes process engineering, especially when we talk about optics or semiconductor industries, can define its own work fashion. 
Well, here are warm greetings from inside the clean room facility. Normal attire includes gloves, masks, and not only during the COVID, coveralls, special boots. As you can see, there is no need to worry what you're going to wear to work. Now, well, why would process development be needed in the world of IT? I think this won't come as a surprise to anyone, but IT is not only about the programs or software to be developed, but also about the pieces of equipment where those programs can be used. In my case, a very biased opinion, I'm warning you, I'm working with the most exciting one, the device known as HoloLens, a truly magical piece of technology, and the job of my team, full of brilliant to the core professionals, is to figure out how to make that magic happen. Well, now let's start from the basic concept of what HoloLens is. HoloLens is a self-contained holographic computer. And nowadays, people, majority of people are familiar with the concept of VR, of virtual reality. But HoloLens is a unique mixed reality device. It allows you to experience 3D holographic images as a part of your own environment. It immerses the world of holograms with the physical realm. With HoloLens, your desktop can be pretty much your living room. Just imagine this setting. You can stream Netflix on the wall of your living room while at the same time working in some Excel or Word document or even Photoshop, which will be placed literally anywhere in your room where it's more comfortable. And then having maybe, you know, hologram or two of your favorite game ca characters just spinning around next to you or jumping on your coffee table, you know, just to make it more fun and more entertaining. All of these cameras, scanners and optics and microphones and mics, all of these components, engineers like me, spend hours and hours on development, all combined in one device can save hours of work for professionals utilizing it in the future. And well, on this note, what else can HoloLens do? Let's watch.
Well, impressive, isn't it? What I love about my work is that any given day is different from the previous one. I have new challenges, new discoveries, new milestones to celebrate as a team. But what I love the most is people I work with, all unique and different, different backgrounds, different spheres of expertise, different identities. While we eagerly maintain the diversity, we are one big team and I'm very proud to be a part of it. And well, now, now is the time to finally answer how does the day in life of a hardware engineer look like? Well, let's watch. I would say that's very simple. You wake up and you go to work. You get a nice fresh cup of coffee to enjoy while heading to work on some work emails or maybe even, you know, have a meeting or two or more depending on the day. And well, what do you do next? You go inside the laboratory and you change the world. And on this note, thanks everyone and I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about the IT world from a new perspective. And that's been my pleasure to tell you a little bit more about this new world. And well, hope I will see you soon. Thank you.